because I'll characterize him as Lovan Arusha, an evil person. He's also known as Lovan Aramai, a trickster, a cheater, someone who can never be trusted. But the rabbis went farther than that. We read in the Haggadah on Pesach, Tzayil Lamad, Mabikesh Lovan Arami, go and see what Lovan wanted to do. Shirot Salaka or Sako, Lovan wanted to destroy the entire Jewish people. He's worse than Paro. Paro only destroyed the males. He's going to destroy everybody. But that really is a uh, an insight that at first glance is not easy to deal with. Paro takes Jewish babies and uh, cements them into the walls, throws them into the Nile for the crocodiles. Lovin didn't do any of that. So why did Chazal characterize him that way? Why did they make him, so to speak, the arch enemy of the Jewish people? He's worse than Esau. He's worse than Paro. Shabike Shlak or Esako. He wanted to uproot the Jewish people. He wanted that his grandchildren should have no roots. They should not know that 